SEO Content Machine tutorial video today and I'm going to talk about the article keywords specifically advanced usage of article keywords so on the right hand side you can see there will be a link to this video and some explainer text about how to use the advanced keywords firstly let's talk about how we place keywords inside this box so you have two options one is you just use a primary keyword example dog training example two is you use your primary keyword and you mix it in with a secondary keyword so to give you an example if you have a bunch of keywords such as dog cat rabbit when you run this article creator task it's gonna find all the content it can for dog or the images it can for dog and write as many articles as it can just for dog then it's going to clear the found results start from scratch and then move on to the second keyword which is cat and then the same thing again for rabbit as you can see these three keywords are all different from each other so we don't want the content to be combined and then used otherwise we're going to get an article that talks about a dog then about a cat then about a rabbit if however we do want to use more than one keyword for example dog puppy dog training in this particular example, this pipe symbol is being used to tell SEO Content Machine that the following keyword is a related keyword. So it's going to do a search for dog, then it's going to move on to puppy, and it's going to move on to dog training. Now the important part about this is between each of these keywords, it doesn't clear its found results. So when it comes to generating an article, you're going to get an article that has content for the word dog puppy and dog training so you can see how powerful this can be if you're using a very small long tail keyword where your content results aren't as rich as something as a big more popular major keyword now you can stack up to five additional related keywords now the next part about article keywords is that these search keywords are actually passed into your search engine as is which means it's actually possible to use search operators and one example is in URL. So if we have a website, for example, example.com, and we want to only download content from that website for, let's say, the keyword dog. Now, if I use this keyword, it's actually going to be passed straight into Bing or Google. And if you know a little bit about search operators, you know that in URL, it's going to only gather results from this website. This is a very clever way to just get content you know is going to be super targeted for your audience now as much as these search operators are awesome the only downside is you can only use them so many times before google catches on and starts banning your search results search engines know that it's not typical for users to always use these operators in their search it's a very big pointer to google that you're trying to do some automated requests. So it's going to eat through your capture credits really quickly. Finally, it's worth noting that your keyword of the current article that's being run, so for example, in this instance, we are doing a search for dog. Anytime you see this macro keyword, it's actually going to replace that with the current keyword that's being processed. So an example of how to use this would be if I know my keyword is dog, and if I go to custom titles and I clear the titles in here and I actually do this my article about keyword so what happens is when SEO content machine runs and is about to generate a title it's actually going to do my article about and it's going to replace this with the word dog so my article about dog so keyword macros are very clever way of improving the relevance of the content you generate and this is an example using titles but you are free to use the percentage keyword macro anywhere across all settings so anytime you see a box that you can customize search settings for example you notice that the percentage keyword appears here in the YouTube search settings so it's dragging the keyword from your article settings current primary keyword if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section in the video below or via email, info at seocontentmachine.com.